Hello, hello, Valiant streaming here. Welcome on in, everyone. We are back in old school RuneScape. We are in our throne room. Look, look at our lovely shields behind our head. Ooh, ooh. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, you know why we're here. We're going to be spinning the quest wheel. We're getting towards the end of these quests now. We are. There's only nine left on the wheel, I believe. Split up. There's a, still a, a lot of um, wedges on here. But without further ado, let's spin the wheel. Let's see what adventure we're going to get into today. Come on. It looks like it's going to be the eyes of Glufrey. The eyes of Glufrey. Okay, it's, it's got five weights. Let's take a look at it. The eyes of Glufrey. Let's get to it. The eyes of Glufrey. There it is. I can start this quest by talking to Brim's tail in his cave beneath the tree gnome stronghold. I know where that is. It's a medium length. Requirements are the grand tree, 46 magic and five construction. Interesting. No, no fighting by the looks of it. Just double check I'm right. Okay, so Brim's tail is there. We know where how to get to him. It's, it's one of these, isn't it? Okay, guys. Exciting stuff. The eyes of glue free coming up. I will bring you back when we are just a little bit closer. See you in just a moment. Okay, guys, here we are. We're back. And don't forget, if you like these kind of videos, please don't forget to hit that like button. Give me the thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. So what have we done to prepare for the eyes of glue free? Not much. 5,000 coins, teleport stuff, anti-poison just in case, rope bullseye lantern and just five fish because there's no combat right so i'm just wearing my normal gear as well there's there's like there seems to be nothing for this quest it's if i look if i go into it right it says the grand requirements the grand tree that's just a quest requirement level 46 magic now i can't see anything for 46 magic i've looked through all of it and five construction so i mean Construction could need anything. It could be, I mean, we could take hammer, saw, chisel, you know, but I, I think we should perhaps just wait. So let's go and uh, talk to the quest starter. What was his name again? I can't even remember what his name Brim's Tail. Brim's Tail. Let's go talk to Brim's Tail. In this cave entrance here right here okay there they are let's go let's get into it hello adventurer what can i do for you uh what's that cute creature wandering around oh is he he's my pet what kind of creature is is he i'm not sure he's very cute though don't you think it's very restful having a pet, especially when you are stuck in a cave for as long as I am. So, what do you do down here anyway? Isn't that obvious? I investigate thaumaturgy. I research the arcane. I attempt to explain the inexplicable. You study magic then? What kind of magic? I do a bit of magic myself, you know. Are you a budding mage? I can tell you more about my research if you'd like. Yes, that sounds fascinating. Excellent. It's so rare I can find someone to discuss my researches. Most gnomes seem to find it all very tedious. Never. How could they think that? Though, I suppose gnomes aren't known for their magic. Well, that's true. These days, apart from a few combat spells, most gnomes seem to be a bit suspicious of mages. Really? Why is that? Well, there is a bit of history there. Do you want me to tell you about it? Yes, I love a bit of history. We definitely want that. Very wise. A good knowledge of the history of magic is crucial to understanding the arcane. Well, the most famous gnomish mage of all got into a bit of trouble. Most gnomes don't really talk about him, other than telling stories about him as if he was some sort of bogeyman or boogeyman. 
Ridiculous. He was a gnome like any other. He sounds like a fascinating character. He was one of King Helthorg the Great's advisors during the Grand Migration, but he was exiled after the Goblin Wars. Why was that? Well, I'm not really sure. This was all before I was born, and no one talks about what happened to Glufri these days. He must have done something very bad then. Well, maybe. I'm not so sure. As it happens, I've been looking into that part of our history. All I've managed to establish was that he was particularly interested in optics and light magic. It's hard to see what he could misuse light in a way that would get him exiled. Well, indeed. I've also found out, though, he was generally disliked by other gnomes. His moniker was Glufri the Untrusted. Oaknot the Engineer and Glufri didn't like each other either. Oaknot? I haven't heard of him before. Ah, Oaknot was an engineer and architect. Very famous. There are statues to him around the place. His reputation amongst the gnomes is second only to King Helthorg himself. He built most of the stronghold, you know. Are you really interested in all of this? You want to see something interesting? Yes, start the eyes of Glufri quest. Yes, yes, yes. Of course. Well, have a careful look around at everything in the next cave and come back and tell me what you find. Okay, just have a look. Is that it? Look around the next cave. Princess told me to investigate the cave next door. Does he mean in here? He, oh, here we go. He means in here then, right? All right. Let's go take a look-see loo! Are we recording? We are panicked for a moment. Okay, there's lots of bits in here. Unlock Oak Knox machine. Examine it. It looks locked. You look at the machine. It's an impressive piece of work, though it looks like it was made using a strange combination of materials. There seems to be two parts with apparently different functions. It is made from maple and oak wood, with crystal all stuck together with a strange glue. You have no idea how it works or what it does. Okay. Oh, hello. Insert a coin. I don't have no... Oh, I do have coins. No coin selected. Okay. Alright, okay. This is going to be a puzzle, alright? Oh, inspect the machine panel. What we got? Is this... Blocks. Okay, I got no idea. No idea. Let's carry on looking around. Inspect the singing bowl. This is a beautiful and elegant looking crystal bowl. It is clearly of elvish origin and reminds you of a large crystal drinking glass. Every now and again, you're sure you can hear the bowl resonate with sounds echoing around the cave, giving off a keening noise that makes you think for a moment that it's calling home. Interesting. Examine the rip. Should I go down there? Can I go down there? Seems not. What we got over here? Examine the Glufri statue. A broken statue of Glufri the, un the Untrusted. Okay. What's this? Oh, that... Oh, can we... Remains of a statue. So somebody's broken it and put it there. Look. I guess we can't pick that up. There's no way to do anything with it for now. Maybe we need tools, but... Alright, can we go back and see the other guy? He's shown me a strange machine. He hasn't told me what he wants me to do yet. I'd need to ask him again. Alright, this is interesting. This could be a puzzle one. We like puzzle ones! Let's talk to him again. We have some water first. I'm... My mouth's dry. I've got a coffee here, but it's still too hot.
Right. Hello, adventurer. What can I do for you? I've had a look in the other room now. So, what did you find? There was a pit with a crystalline looking, crystalline looking bowl in the centre. Indeed. Sadly, I know very little about that. It looks elven to me, though. There is also a large, strange looking machine. That's right. It was built by Oaknock. How do you know that? That room used to be Oaknock's workshop. I'd also recognise his style anywhere. What does it do? I have no idea, but I do know someone who might. There is one gnome left alive who knew Oaknock, and Keith he King Heathorg, and Glufri for that matter. Who is that? Have a guess. King? Um. Well, King Nano tells me you've already visited him. Oof. Uh, oh, I know. You're talking about... Oh, Hazelmere, aren't you? Okay. Very good, young apprentice. Didn't he help create the Grand Tree? That's right. He was the third advisor to King Heathorg. Hellthorg. I've got to get used to that name. He found and tended to the Grand Tree. If you are really interested in all of this, then could you do me a favour and visit Hazelmere for me? I've been meaning to go for a while, but I have responsibilities here. There's always someone who wants to use the Rune Essence Mines. Of course, I'd love to. Good, good. Wait a minute. Am I going to have to translate everything he says using that dictionary again? Ah, he's an old-fashioned kind of gnome, and he doesn't like visitors much, but I'm sure he'll want to talk about the old days. But he only speaks ancient gnomish. That may be true, though he may just be faking it to deter visitors. Either way, he's a wise old gnome. If he really wants to talk to you, I'm sure he'll find a way. Well, alright, if you say so. What do you want me to ask him? Well, ask him if he knows anything about Oak Knox machine. And anything you can find about Glufri would be very interesting, wouldn't you agree? Right then, I'd better be on my way. I'll be back soon. Oh my god, where, where was he? I can't remember where. Will it tell me on here? Rimstairs asked me to visit Halesma, who I visited during the Grand Tree Quest. Right, I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to play uh, maybe a bit uh, clever here. Right. Grand Tree Quest. Um, so I can't remember where he is. Oh, look. King to Hazelmere. Oh my gosh, I can't remember where he is. Let's, let's get out of here. I know he's not down here. Hazelmere. 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 Let me look around the map. Maybe I'll... God, you know what? It's not ringing a bell. Nothing at all is ringing a bell to me. It's just... Oh, he's there, isn't he? It, it, I remember. Hold on, let's go Watchtower. I know where he is. I know where he is. Oof. Gosh, do you know what? It's just sometimes things will click. They will just click. On the odd occasion, at least. He's over there, isn't he? He's in that... He's in the... Uh, the grass tree thing, or whatever you want to call it, on the on the little island. There, he's up there. That is him. I I hope he'll talk to me. I do remember having to faff around with uh, codes or book and. All right, but let's let's go see. I hope it's not like that thing the other day. Remember, I couldn't get through the gate the other day. Okay. Let's get 
to it. Yes, he's in here. I know he is. Hazelmere. Coming up. Yes! I feel like I've beat the quest already. Talk to Hazelmere. The mage starts to speak, but all you hear is blah, 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 blah. Uh, hello, Hazelmere. Blah, 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 human Sarko. Brimstail has sent me to ask you some questions. Ha! Ataris Gary. Blah, blah, messy, blah, blah. I have some questions about the old days. Brimstail has been filling me in about gnomish history. Blah, Brimstail, blah, blah, human, blah, Minaha. It sounds like a fascinating time. It also sounds like some important things happened then. Events that we shouldn't forget. Hmm. Laquinre, blah, human, blah, blah, blah. He also found a machine. He says it was built by Oaknock. Oaknock? Ha! Blah, blah, Minapur, blah, blah. Blah, 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 Oaknock, blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. He thought, Cinco, blah, blah, blah. Um, I'm sorry, I don't understand the word you're saying. <sighs> it pempsy, it messy, human. You feel very strange, as if Hassel Hazelmere has started poking around in your head. And I think he has looking at that, right? And yet everything seems a lot clearer. Not bad for a human. You can hear Hazelmere's voice in your head, but he's not moving his lips. Very strange. You understand what he's saying though, which is a bonus. Weird. How are you doing this, Hazelmere? Old magic's beyond your skill, human. You can stop flapping your big human lips as well. Just think. So how do I do this? Wow, that's impressive. Rimstail was telling me that gnomes don't trust mages these days. Can you hear me? Glufri, wasn't it? He did something bad and got exiled. Oh, I'm feeling a little dizzy. You knew him, didn't you? What can you tell me about him? And what's this machine that Oaknock built? Isn't that magical as well? Do you know what it does? Stop wittering on, Valiance. You're giving me a headache. This mind speech is hard enough without having to listen to your incoherent babbling. Think about nothing. Clear your mind. Clear my mind? Hey, how did you know my name? I'm reading your mind, foolish human. How do you think? Now clear your mind. How do I think about nothing? I'll give it a go. Hmm, tasty lobster. Yeah, I'm thinking about something. Stop thinking about lobsters. Pink lobsters. Big lobsters. Lobsters with wings. Wings? Lobsters don't have wings. Ah, I can't do this. Just shut up and listen. I have a story to tell you that will answer most of your questions. Let us travel back in time to the time you humans call the Fourth Age. King Helthorg had become king. The elves mysteriously decided to travel west, leaving most of Kandarin open for conquest. The humans weren't here yet, only King Helthorg and the gnomes to the north, and a collection of goblin tribes to the south. Ooh, okay. Both armies moved to claim the lands, and were of course destined to meet in battle. Okay. Oops. Oh, there's the gnomes, the gnomes. And so it came to pass the goblin and gnome armies met at the Battle of Atari Sundry. All right. They're going for it. Both sides faced each other on the battlefield. A bloody battle was in prospect. Our gnomes were brave. But we were no match for the mass of brute gobbling stupidity. The green skins, guys. The green skins. But Glufri and King Helthorg had devised a plan. 
If you don't lead an invincible army, pretend you do. Ooh, he's casting a spell. Wow. And so Glufri created an army of illusory giant tortoises, knowing that goblins would be scared of anything bigger than they were. Big Boss didn't say nothing about them gnomies having monster tortoises. They be huges. Tortoises too scary and pointy. We runs away. Chickening out and buggering off. Brave, brave goblins. <laughs> Run! This quest's fun so far. It is. Hey, was that you next to the tortoise? You look so handsome. Handsome? Hm, that was a long time ago. Anyway, where was I? Oh yes. Sadly, the golden times were not destined to last for long. There was once a very special spirit tree in the stronghold. Silver as a birch, old and wise. I considered him a friend. I called him Argento. His true name was unpronounceable. He was the first spirit tree I had befriended and the one I knew the best. I would sometimes travel visiting and finding other spirit trees, and during one such trip, I was filled with a great sense of foreboding. Ooh. The plot thickens. I felt a shadow pass over me, and a tingling in the air, even though the weather was fine and dry. Then I felt a sudden pain, as if the anima Mundi was crying out with the loss of a favoured child. No! And I knew that one of the old ones had died, and I had lost a friend. No! Guys, that's sad. That's sad, right? I rushed straight back to the Grand Tree, only to find that no one had noticed anything, and that Argento was still standing and seemed alive. But I knew something was wrong. He refused to talk to me, and his aura was no longer present. Someone had hidden his death. I talked to Oaknot, and he was incensed. He immediately blamed Gru Glufri, and although Oaknot could be rather irrational when it came to Glufri, they never saw eye to eye. I knew he was right this time. Glufri had used his magics to hide the truth from all of us. Oaknock had made a machine, an anti-illusion machine, with some help from the elves. He prepared it and summoned the advisors to Argento. Why have you summoned us here? You'll see, sire. Switch the machine on. What is the meaning of this? The silver spirit tree is dead? Glufri has been using his foul arts to mask the truth. What other secrets has he been keeping? Oh, Glufri's off. Oh no. Explain yourself. I live to serve you, sire. I work for the good of us all. How can lying to your fellow gnomes be good? Some things are best kept secret. Even from your king? Occasionally. Enough. How can I trust a gnome who hides things from me? No gnome can blame you for what you do ne not know. That is not how I rule. Glufri, you, you are no longer my advisor. Leave this place. Only the naive believe they can rule without someone like me. Your empire will crack and gnomes will become but a joke. Sarko! So be it. I'll be watching. And so Glufri left and travelled with some companions to a place they called Arposandra. We have heard nothing but rumours about them since. Interesting. Interesting. Hmm. So, where's this Arposandra place anyway? Nobody knows for certain. Somewhere rocky, I suppose. The rumour is that after founding his new home, 
Blufri used his magics to shroud the city in mist. Harpo Sandra may not exist at all. However, I suspect that Glufri is still around, one way or another. Why do you think that? Just call it Gnomish Intuition. So the machine that Brimstail has found is the one that Oaknock built to stop Glufri's illusions. Do you know how it worked? I never studied it, but I believe it used elven magic. So it must have used crystals of some sort. Crystal discs. Yes, that sounds familiar. Actually, come to think of it, I think I may have one lying around. Here, take this. Maybe it will help you. Well, thank you, Hazelmere. You've told me a lot of things I need to ponder for a while. Very well. Oh, and when you see that lazy toad Brimstail, tell him next time he needs information to come himself. I'll do that. Farewell. All right, guys, that was that was quite a lot to take in. I've already lost some of that. It's like it just sieved out of my other ear. But let's see what... Oh, where, where were we? Hold on. We were looking. The eyes of glue free. Hazelmere has also given me a crystal disc that he said would be useful for operating Oaknock's machine. I should tell Brimstail all the stories I've been told, especially the fact that Oaknock's machine is in fact an anti-illusion device. Right. So we've got a violet pentagon. Examine it. A violet pentagon shaped crystalline disc. Okay. All right. So let's get back to where we're going. To Mr. Brim's tail. Let's do it. So far, guys, we haven't actually done anything. We've been doing the quest for 25 minutes getting towards 30 minutes. We haven't done anything except for read and examine things. Very interesting. Very interesting. Let's see if this coffee's ready to uh, have a little try. Feels it now. Ooh. It's good. It's good. Okay, we'll go to the Gnome Stronghold. Right. So far, we still don't need anything. I'm going to move this down to the bottom because that's a questy item. Very interesting, though. A lot of it so far has literally been just talking and listening, reading. That's fine. Right. Brim's Tale. Hello, adventurer. What can I do for you? I visited Hazelmere. He told me all sorts of interesting things. Ah, thank you, my young apprentice. What did he tell you? He told me quite a story. You may want to take notes. Maybe I should have. <laughs> Excellent. I like a good story. Right. Well, it starts... Oh, no. You tell Brimstail everything Hazelmere told you. Brimstail takes lots of notes. So the machine emits an anti-illusion glamour. I guess. Who's that? Glamour? What's that? Who's that? Don't you know anything? A glamour is a type of enchantment or magical effect. Oh yes, it does have such a glamour. It seems to use crystal discs to work in some way. You show Brimstail the disc Hazelmere gave you. Oh, crystal discs? I may have a few of those in a drawer somewhere. I don't know who that guy is that's just walked past. What's that? Something just moved behind you. It really did. Oh. Is that Brim's tail? Never. Really? Wait. What's that banging noise? He's just trashed it, hasn't he? He's just trashed it, I think. What's happened to the machine? It's broken. Hmm, something is afoot. I sense sabotage. So do I, we just saw it. No, we've got to repair it. Okay. Okay, let's just check what, what we're doing. The eyes of glue free. 
I need to find out how to repair the machine. Can we talk to this fellow about it, maybe? The machine is broken. I suspect sabotage. This is intolerable. How could this happen? I'm confused. It must have happened while we were here talking. But we were just standing here. How could someone get past us? I did see something odd behind you. Wait a minute. How did the saboteur know about the machine? Hmm, you're the only person I've told about the machine. Ooh, what about Hazelmere? Hey, don't look at me like that. The only person I've talked to is Hazelmere. Surely this couldn't be the work of Hazelmere. That turncoat! Wait, wait. None of this makes any sense. There must be another explanation. All right. Someone snuck in here without us noticing. How? The intruder must have been invisible. Right. And how does one make oneself invisible, my boy? Illusion magic? Invisibility is a form of illusion magic. So that makes sense. So this was done by Glufri. Is he still alive? Who knows? But he may well have taught the skills to his gnomes. You mean the gnomes that went with Glufri? To Arpasandra? Right. And why would they sabotage an anti illusion device? Because there is an illusion that they want to remain hidden? Of course. Which makes it imperative that we fix the machine and find out what it is. Have a look at the machine and assess the damage. I'll hunt around my boxes and see if I can find anything that might help. Right, okay, so we've got to go to the machine. To the machine! Right, okay. So, repair Oak Knox machine. You look at the damage done. There are two main wooden parts that need to be repaired. It looks as if you'll need two types of wood, maple and oak, to complete the repairs. It also looks as if everything was stuck together by some sort of resin based glue that smells of pine and contains flecks of grey powder that glint and sparkle in a magical way. You think that you'll need some skill in construction level 5 and the standard construction tools to repair the machine. Right. Need a hat. Right, okay, let's go and go and take a look. Let me see if this guy says anything. Maybe he'll have something. So we need maple and oak. We know that. I'm still a bit confused about how to fix Oak Knox machine. I'm not getting anywhere with these sticky runes. Hmm, which runes would you think are sticky? Runes are runes. None of them are sticky. They're all round and disc-like and definitely non-adhesive. Open your mind and think laterally. Thinking sideways is, as, is an important skill for a mage. Oh, alright, I'll give it a go. Well, air, water and fire and earth runes. There's nothing sticky about them. I concur. Mind and body runes. Again, distinctly non-glue-like in any way. Keep going. Nature and cosmic runes. Once more, distinctly lacking in any gooiness. Ah, this is a waste of time. Patience, young apprentice. You are on the right path. Just think it through and I'm sure it will become obvious. Maybe. What do I do with the room when I find it? What did Oak Knock do? Well, it looked powdered in the glue. So there you go. What more do you need to know? Well, I'm still a bit unsure about getting this glue. So what do you know so far? It looked ambery in colour and sticky. Smelt of pine and had flecks of silvery stuff in it. Oh my goodness. It smelt of pine and was ambery in colour. That sounds like tree sap. From a con coniferous tree, probably. Tree sap? Have you never tried cutting a coniferous tree and watching the sap drip out? Uh, no. Well, maybe if you had, you'd know something about tree sap. So where do I put the stuff? Hmm, use your head. What kind of substance is this tree sap? What do you mean? 
Is it a solid, a liquid, or a gas? Oh, I see. A liquid, I suppose. So, where do you put liquids? Some form of container. Right. I think you know everything you need now. Thanks. Okay, I'm kind of... Fizzling. I'm kind of fizzling a little bit. So. Ooh. We'll take that. Thank you very much, Mr. Count. And we will go in Herblor. Boosh. Free XP. 630 Herblor. Right, let's try and grab some stuff. Hold on. So apparently we need a hammer. Let's grab a hammer. I did say that before. So we need a hammer. And it said we need oak and maple. Oak and maple. Now, the other thing we're going to need is a knife and a bucket. Then the runes. He was talking about the runes. Just search. Oh, no. Rune. So, oh, okay. We've got to do it like this, right? What have we got? Air, mind, water, fire, earth, steam. Steam's not sticky. Soul, astral, nature. Mud. Hold on. Body. Cosmic. Death. Chaos. Blood. Lava. Any of those three. Mud, blood, or lava could be sticky, couldn't it, really? Blood sticky? No, not really. Is lava sticky? Mud can be sticky. Let's try some. Hold on. And it wants to be powder. What about mortar and pestle? Use that on that. You grind the mud powder into ground mud runes. Examine. All right. Maybe. Maybe. But. How do we get the sap? Maple logs I've got. Oak logs I've got. I need this magical glue. I, I need to... He said do it on a greenwood tree. What is a greenwood tree? Can we... Use a knife on that? Nothing happens. This one? Nothing happens. What about the magic tree? Nothing happens. I need to go and talk to him again because I'm still I'm still a little concerned, like confused, not concerned. I think we've got some of it done. We're still a bit confused about this machine. Not getting anywhere with these sticky runes. Right. Right, I, th I think we've got the sticky runes. Sticky about them, I concur. Okay. Do with the room when I find it. What did Oak not do? It looked powdered in the glue, so I think that that might be it. I think it might be. So there you go. What more do you need to know? I'm unsure about getting the glue. So what do you know so far? It looked ambery in colour. And sticky. It smelt of pine. And it had flecks of silvery stuff in it. Smelt of pine and was amber. That sounds like tree sap from a coniferous tree, probably. Tree sap. Never tried cutting a coniferous and watching the sap drip. Out. Wait, hold on. A coniferous tree. Hold on. Isn't there might not even be one in here. Um let me look on the map. Oh, this looks like one. Hold on, hold on. 
This one here looks like one, but use a knife on it. How about use a bucket on it? Um, right, I'm going to try and see that one there. Oh, here's one here, is it? Is that one? Let's try this one first. The ones that look like kind of fir trees. This one. You cut the tree and allow some sap to drip into your bucket. Let's go. Now what? Bucket of sap. Can we use those on that? You mix the mud ruin powder into the tree sap. It looks sticky. Use magic glue. I think we've done it. Magic glue. I need to repair. Okay, we've got everything. Let's go repair it. Let's go. Guys, big brain. Big brain. Oh no, that's Argento. I've, I've only just noticed that. And that's a Hazelmere statue. Do you know what? It's the first time I've noticed that. I guess it's just due to me now understanding the story. So it makes you look around a bit more, doesn't it? It's what I love about this game. Honest to goodness. Let's go. Let's go and repair the machine. I guess we'll repair it and have to put this pentagon in it. Um, right, repair Oak Knox machine. You need the saw to repair the machine. Oh, what does this need? Or is it the same? We've got to get a saw. No! Come on, Val. How are we doing on... We're okay on run energy. Do, do, do. We're doing it, though. We're getting it. We're doing it! Can you believe, guys, that I got a medium dragon helm the other day? Yesterday morning, in fact. No, uh, Sunday morning it was. Yes, we got it doing um, Guardians of the Rift. It came out of one of the black sacks, which I forget the name of them again. Right, we need a saw. Check. Doo -doo -doo. To be honest, it did say, didn't it? You need uh, basic construction tools. And that is a saw and a, a hammer. I should know this stuff. Uh oh, of course. I just said, didn't I, not long ago. Oh, we're fine on, on run energy. Now it's all gone. We haven't brought anything with us, but this will do. This will do. We're not far from this machine. I'm hoping it will repair the lot of it. Look, but there's Oak Knox Exchanger and Oak Knox Machine. We've definitely got the stuff for this. I don't know if it'll be separate. But... Okay, there we go. We're repairing, baby. Oh, it looks like we're repairing it all. You fixed it. It seems to now be working. Though it does appear to be locked. Let's just check. I need to work out how to unlock it. These crystal coins must have something to do with it. Insert a coin. Use. Insert it. Unlock the machine. You've not unlocked the machine yet. I'm confused. I'm actually really confused. What do I have to do here then? Oh, it gave it me back. Crystals must have something to do with it. Is it something to do with this? What was on here? The machine panel. Colours. The violet pentagon. Okay. What's this then? OK, 
Okay, I'm not sure what this is at the moment. What's this? Oh, this is something different. What? Let's insert the coin. Examine the violet pentagon. Okay, it's not going to let me. Hey, what's this? Cancel exchange. Accept the exchange. This looks like nine o'clock, but it could be quarter to twelve. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. What? Exchange. Oh! Examine the violet triangle. The orange square, the orange circle, the red square, indigo... I'm confused. I'm gonna... I'm gonna go and talk to Oaknock, see if he's... Oh, wait. Search the plant, what's this? I missed that all along. Gronda, gronda. What? Nothing in it. Examine it. The plant moves by itself. It is a sentient creature disguised as a plant. Nah. Is that what we've got to uncover? That must be what we've got to uncover, maybe? Alright. Let's talk to this guy, see if he can help me out. I think I fixed the machine now. Well done. You're almost as good at fixing things as a gnome. Who'd have thought? Though I still don't think I've actually active. It's actually activated. There appears to be some sort of lock on the front. I think I know what the discs are for, though. There's a slot in the front that looks like it might fit a disc. It does. And a number. Okay. So what do you think the number means? I'm not sure yet. Maybe I should put the disc into the slot and see what happens. Whoops, we're ahead of ourselves. That reminds me, I found these crystal discs I mentioned before. Oh, he's just giving me... Oh, he's given me a couple more. They are not quite the same as the one Hazelmere gave you. But they look similar in size and weight. They also look as if they might fit in the slots on both of the machines. Maybe I should try it out. I wonder if the different sizes and shapes mean anything. I've been thinking that as well. I should ponder it some more. I'll work it out. That's the spirit. This is all good training for the mind. Okay, so. I need to work out, I need to, right. I need to work out what the values of the coins are. Oh, it to tells us, doesn't it? Hold on a minute. Hold on. Let's, uh, let's go back over there. Because, yes, we've got different colours, look. But they're different shapes as well. Does that make a difference? So we've got... So red looks like it's the lowest. And then, then this colour. How many colours are there? Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So four. I'll move that to there. Right, so what what number was on this? 16? 16. So when I inserted this look... When I inserted that coin... It's shown kind of... Green. So does that mean that's too, too many points? Maybe. So let's try the red. Just see what's happening first. Now, green, that's not enough points it's quite complicated i'm not i'm not gonna joke what about this one what about this one not enough points right so we need 16 so none of these add up to 16 the highest one is this one seven but that one says that it's too many
So we've got a square, a triangle and a hexagon. I just want to... I want to look at this and I'm... Let me just... I'm not going to do anything with this, but insert that and show me an exchange. So it'll give me an indigo pentagon or a red pentagon. Can we get anything else? Just wanna. Can I add more discs after the exchange? Right. Oh! Green pentagon, a yellow triangle, and a red circle, a blue circle. Wow. Wow, I can just keep changing this. I need to try and figure this out. So, it's just showing the blocks. So is that the values? I'm going to guess that's the values, because when we put that in, it says it's too many. But how can it be too many if it's only seven? But these are not enough to get 16. Um... Can I add more than one in here? No, just one. So if those two are not worth enough, but that's worth too much... They're not worth enough. Now, why aren't they worth enough, but that's worth too much? Shape? Sides? Sides of the things? So maybe that's worth four? One times four sides is four. This could be worth two times three sides six and this would be seven times five sides 35 so if that was the case and i need 16 i would need let's see if we can find a green square if we find a green square that would be correct i believe can we exchange anything can get a green square let's put this in and see if we can find a green square no 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 are we just getting the same things now we are aren't we yeah so we can't get a green square not off that one what about the other ones let's try this square see if it makes any difference put that in but we'd like a green square green circle that's all it will give me that's it that will only give me a green circle okay so now let's try the yellow triangle I could be totally talking rubbish what I'm doing nothing right okay so let's let's see if we could do multiples let's put in I wonder if we can go like this like that and this just as an example I wonder if we can do that okay we're still not we're still not finding it. I wonder if we have to put them all in. All three. All three, maybe. One, two, three. It just gave me them all back. Maybe you need to... All right, I'm going to try this. Put this in. And let's try and put the square in with it. I don't... It's not doing anything, look. Okay, one more try. Put that in. 
and that in. Right, will anything else add up to 16? Hold on. Will anything else add to 16 instead of 4x4? Four four? I don't think it will, will it? 2 times 8, but we can't get that. 5s. What's a circle? A circle would be 1, wouldn't it? So, 3... 3? No, 3 times 5. I feel like we need a blue square. A, a, sorry, a green square. If that's the case, 4 by 4. Nothing else would add up. The 2s, you can't make it. You can only go max 10 if that's the case. Maybe I'm thinking about this wrong. 3s just don't go into it. 4s, 5s don't. We need a blue square. And I... I feel like we need a blue square somehow. But I don't know how. What if we put that in first? And then this. Right, what about if we put this in? Let's put that in. And let's get some colours out of it. So we get quite a lot out of that look. Purple square. Maybe we've got to do it like this, right? Hold on. I'm going to try this. That gives us a red pentagon. A violet square. It's a green circle. I'm not sure what we honestly need here. Truth. I'm going to take the, the one that gives me... I'm going to take this for a moment. I'm going, to, I'm going to try it. Exchange. So we've got some extras. So now, let me just look for a minute. What's this green pentagon? See, I think that, if I'm right, that would be three. That would be four. That would be six. That would be eight. And I think this will go too much. I'm going to try it. I think the green pentagon would be worth 20. So I, I, I just want to try I think all of these will show as too low. Let's just try. These will all show the green arrow being up. Okay. Now let's try this. Green arrow up. Green arrow up. Green arrow up. And if this shows green arrow down, I think I might be on to something. I think that we need a green square. So, let's pop this in and just see what, what we get. Any offers of a, a green square? No. And how we're going to do this, really? <laughs> I don't know how we do this. Let's try and put these two squares in. Let's try and put the two squares in and see if we can get a green one out of them. A green square. We'll accept it. I think this is it. I think we might have done it. Maybe. So green square in. Place it in. Insert the coin. Look! Unlock the machine, let's go. The front panel of the machine is unlocked. Well done. Okay. I need to work out how to operate the three panels. These crystal coins must have something to do with it. The three panels. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, 
Oh, okay. I think I get this. I think I understand this, but I'm going to go talk to our mate first. Let me just see. Is this... I've got it. This is all about changing the colours to get things that you want. I get it. All right. Take bowl table. Examine it. Okay, we don't want to take it. Let's talk to this guy. What can I do for you? I think Oaknox machine is now unlocked. What can I do? Or what do I do now? I wonder how it works. A similar way to the locking mechanism, I guess. There seems to be more than one slot. Maybe I need more than one disc. Oh, I've been rooting through my drawers and I found a few more discs that you might find useful. Thanks, I'm sure they'll be very useful. All right. Oh, okay, we've got a we've got a, a sack full of discs. Let's go see what we can do. Let's go see what we can do. There's no circles there. I think I think I've worked it out. Let me just see. So if we need one, we need a number one in there. It's going to be a circle, isn't it? One side. We need a red circle. We need a red circle. Let's see what we can do. Just a simple red circle, please. Put it in. If this works, then I'm I'm positive that I've red circle. Exchange it. Right, I think if this works, the red circle, I think I've I know what I'm doing. Red circle, insert the Perfect. Activate the machine. Machine's not fully up. Now we need 30. Right, 30. Let's do some maths. So 30 then, we're going to want... We could go for... We could go for... I don't know what colour that is. Indigo. An indigo... Hexagon. Oh, but there's two slots. There's two slots, and we've got to split it up. We have to split that up. Oh, wow, we need to... Oh, wow, we've got to save this. Where's it gone? What was it we needed? We need that. We've got to keep that one. Sorry. Wait a minute. God, I nearly quit the game. Getting overexcited. So, move that down there. So, if we need... Ooh, I've got to be careful not to not to get rid of this. We need that. So now we need 30 split in two slots. Let's see how we can do it. See how we can do it. We actually have a violet square. So that could be... 4 times 6. That would be 24, but then we would need 6... Six, which would be that's a yellow triangle that's worth nine mm, four or we could use the blue square which is five times four is twenty the green triangle is uh, twelve and the blue triangle is fifteen So I'm not sure what we need. Let me let me try and get some something for that. So if I go for this square, that would be four times. No, there's no two-sided. Four sevens would be no good. That's 28. All right. So let's say that we're going to use the blue triangle. Let's say we use the blue triangle. That would be three times five. If next no, we'd need two blue triangles, I bet we wouldn't get another one. Uh, the green triangle then. That would be three times four. That would be twelve. Let's move that down for a minute. That would be twelve. Okay. That means we need eighteen. So to get eighteen, we would have to go four. An indigo triangle. 
an indigo triangle and a green triangle would make 30. So we're looking for an indigo triangle. Let's try and get one. Let's see if we can get one. Wait, what did I say I needed? Oh my gosh, this is quite awkward. I need to write these down. Gap tuber. <laughs> so let's put, we need the, we need the red circle for the first one. Then we need the green triangle. And we're looking for an indigo triangle. That's what we need to get. We've got to keep the green triangle and we've got to keep the red circle. So anything else is up for, for messing around with at the minute. We could try put that in. We need an indigo one. Not getting enough out of that. They're bigger ones, aren't they? We've got it. All right, let me try this. Let's put that red one in. Let's put the yellow one in. See what the two together do. We're looking for an indigo triangle. Okay, nothing. So, let's try it again. This time, let's put the red triangle in. The yellow triangle. Come on, please. In. The yellow one. In. And let's put the blue one in. We need the green. Like that. Now, let's see. We're looking for an indigo triangle. What colour is that? Violet. It's... No, we're not going to get it. That's a red triangle. Violet, it's no good. We need indigo. I'm, I'm, this is tough. I can't find a, a, a way out how this wants to do it. But this violet square. I wonder if the violet square would change to a violet triangle. Red. That's violet. An indigo triangle. We need it. We need that. We're going to take these. Okay, I believe. Let me just double check this. Green and indigo triangle in there. Let's just see if it works. Oh, it's going to do the first one first. So we've got to put in the red circle. Put it in there. Then the green triangle in there. And the indigo triangle in there. Yes. Oh, this one. Guys, this is great. I love it. But now we need 26 points. All right. We need 26. So we need smaller ones to fill this in. So what do we have? But we have a green, we have two red triangles. Those are only worth three each. So if we put two of those in, that would be 20 points left. What's the blue square? How much is the blue square? 20 points. Guys, I think I might have it. If it'll let me put two times red triangle if it'll allow me to do that and a blue square if it will allow me to put two in of the same color i actually think we've got it right here we go one more time red circle in there actually let's try these look red triangle in there these allow me to put another one in blue square We're laughing, guys. We're laughing. Green triangle. And that one. Look at that. Big brain at it again. Activate the machine. Boosh. Huzzah! It's working. Oh, 
you know something? Just in case I stream today, let's get rid of that. Okay, we got it working. Awesome source. Well done, Valiance. I knew you'd work it out. I'll make a mage out of you, yeah. Wait, what's happening? Eek. Oh dear me, what has happened? What on earth? Izzy! No! There's something very wrong going on here. It's an evil creature. Poor Izzy. Unless Izzy was always an evil creature. Yes. Yes. That's got to be it. The eyes of Glufrey. I just need to find out what illusions have been hidden from us now. What about this one? Search this. Gronda, Gronda. Examine it. Ah, it hasn't done it. This? Anything over here? Beautiful and elegant looking bowl. Clearly elvish. Same thing. Maybe talk to the guy. So, we've just got to find out what's hidden from us, right? Illusions have been hidden from us. Okay. Got the machine working now. What do I need to do now? Seems that Izzy was not so cute after all. How awful. How mysterious. So this was the illusion. The Aspro... The Arpasandrans went to so much effort to conceal. A pet? That wasn't cute enough. Where did you find this one? Izzy just wandered into my cave. He was cute and friendly, so I kept him. He seemed very curious and used to watch me do my researches. Ah. I like the companionship. Research is lonely work. So he's been keeping an eye on you while you do important magical research. I suppose it has. I hadn't thought of it like that. I'm sure. I've seen others of these creatures around the place. Where? I think King Narnode has one. And I think I saw one by the gate. And I'm sure I've seen a few more wandering around. In other words, all places to keep an eye on what's going in the stronghold. Oh my goodness, I think I'm beginning to understand where you are going with this. Yes, they must be spies. They are watching us and those creepy red eyes. They must have told someone that we were working on the machine. So that horrible thing was listening to us all along. You'd better tell the king what's going on. Okay, so we've got to go to see the king, right? Oh, what illusions have been hidden from us now. Okay. So I guess we're going to tell the king. <laughs> to the king! Yes. Do, 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 do. Right, guys. I think we've cracked this conspiracy wide open. Oh, there's another one here, look. I wonder if we could... I don't want to attack it in case, you know? Examine it. What is that thing? Let's talk to the king. Good day, sire. I take it that you've noticed the cute creature you had in here is looking rather different now. Oh, yes. Why, yes. Do you know what's going on? I think I do. It's a long story, but the short version is this. The Arpasandran gnomes have planted these creatures as spies to watch what's going on in the stronghold. What? That's outrageous! I have just reactivated a machine that was built by Oaknot that dispels illusions, and now these creatures, true form, are revealed. Glufry! Now, we know what he's been up to all these years. Yeah, never trust a mage. Well, I wouldn't go as far as that. It is only through Brim's Tales and my research that we've established this is going on. Oomph. Well, all of these creatures must be removed. We cannot allow the Arpasandrans to spy on us anymore. How many of these things are there? I don't know, sire. Well, find them all and dispatch them now. I'm right on it. Okay. Can we uh, just douche him up, can we? Oh! 
I've killed one spying creature so far. Maybe there are more to find. There definitely are. There's one out here. Okay, that's two. I wonder if there's any more all up the grape tree. Spying on things. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, we're just going to have to run around, guys, and find them. Okay, I'm not seeing any over this side. None over there. So how many have we got so far? We've killed two. Over this side. We'll go up after we've checked. I think we'd see them already, right? I'm sure we would see them. We don't have to be right next to them. But we can see all of this, so why wouldn't we see the mobs? Let's go up again. Climb up. We'll just move towards stuff for a minute. Nope. Nope. Dum -dum 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 -dum. I think no. Right, we'll go up again. And then we're going to have to run all around everywhere, I guess. Oh, there's one. There is one here. Noise. Is that it? Oh no, because they said by the gate, didn't they? They said by the gate. Let's go down by the gate. Alright, we've got three. Does it is it gonna tell me in here or not? Says I need to find all of the creatures spying. I wonder where good places to Spies are the bank. Oh, there's there's one. I've just seen it by the tree. Look. Yes, of course. Hmm. The bank. The bank. No, there's not one here. You would have thought the bank would have been a good spot. But they did say the gate, didn't they? He did say by the gate. Yes, there's one there, look. All right. Is this the last one? Do -do 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 -do. Okay. Oh, there's, maybe there's more to find, really. area no what about the agility course is the agility course an important area Do -do 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 -do. um i mean there could very well be one in there we've got to do a quick run around the agility course guys there could be one here we haven't been around this. This was the first ever course we went around, wasn't it? Just trying to keep my eyes out for them. All right, let's take a look then. Could actually be running. Uh, it's not looking like there's one here, is it? In all honesty, it's not looking like we're going to get anything here. Doodle doodle doodle. I remember the first time going around this on a live, do you remember? So much fun, I thought, oh my god, agility is brilliant! I do still like agility. It does get a touch tedious when you've been around the same course hundreds of times. Um, wow, where else could we look that mo What about gnome ball? Gnome ball, is that going to be important? Maybe let's go back and talk to 
Rim's tail again. Maybe he'll give us another hint. But I have a feeling we've just got to keep running around. Doodle doodle doodle. But we are trying. We're looking everywhere as we go. We'll try and talk to him again. You never know. You never know. I think we might be past his part. I think we're talking to the king now. Can I do for you? I've told King Narnode about the spying creatures. Have you found all of those nasty little creatures yet, young lad? Not yet. They are shifty little beasts, you know, hiding everywhere. Okay. What about over here? What about over here in the pens? That's an idea. And there's another pen further north. Hold on, stop. Okay, there's not one there. Let's go and try the gnome ball pit. Let's go and try the gnome ball pit. Uh, the swamp. There's another thing here. I think it is, is it for, for the tortoise up there? Come on. Bum bum. Bum bum. Bum bum. Bum bum. Right. We'll try the gnome ball. See if we can see anyone around it. Dum 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 dum. I'm not feeling here. I don't know if gnome balls really important if they would really want to spy. Unless they support a certain team, right? Are we doing on time? Okay. We're not doing too bad. Alright. I don't think there's any here, in all honesty. Let's check the swamp out. I thought the swamp may have had something. No. I'm running out of out ideas, guys. I'm... Yes, there's one here. Okay, we got another one. We got us another one. Hi, scum. Okay. You've killed all the creatures. Now you'd better tell the king. Let's go. Go and tell Mr. King. In Kingston Town. Yes. We can't run. We're all out of running. Okay. Just need to tell the King that the job is complete. All right. King Nano. Killed them all. Have you found all of those spies yet? I think so. There were six in total. Thank goodness. Thank you for your help. Brim's tale also tells me that you helped him a lot finding out what was going on. Help? I did all of the hard work. Ah, getting others to do the donkey work seems to be a skill that mages develop well. So what will you do now? Well, I have many things to think about. Why are the... Why are the Arposandrons spying on us, and what are they planning? It's certainly worrying, and whoever sabotaged the machine couldn't have been far from here. Are there gnomes here who are also spies? Indeed, that is another thing that worries me. If you find out more, I'd be willing to help investigate. That may well be useful. Thank you. I may well call for your help again. Oh, before you leave, I have something you might like. What's that? It was passed down to me from king to king. It belonged to Oaknock. He proclaimed that only a hero of the gnome should have it. I think you count as a hero. Also, since you have been looking into Oaknock, you might be able to work out what it is. King Narnode gives you a small crystal seed. Hmm, I wonder what it does. Well, I'm sure that your magical research skills will help you there. Good luck. 
Boom, we did it, guys. It's finished. Another one. Congratulations, you have completed the Eyes of Glufry. You are awarded two quest points, 12,000 magic XP. Let's go. 6,000 runecraft XP. Look how close we are to leveling. Look at that. 12,000 magic XP, 6,000 runecraft XP, 2,500 woodcutting XP, 2,005, uh, sorry, 250 construction XP, and a crystal seed. Total quest points, 185. And congratulations, you just advanced a runecraft level. Your runecraft level is now 67. Come on now. And watch if we do this. Oh, we can probably drop these, right? Oh, a crystal saw seed. A seed to be sung into a magical crystal saw. Okay, right, hold on a minute. Look, watch. We're going to quickly, quickly, quickly do this. Watch. Teleport to the house. Okay, I don't know how much teleport skill we got. Let's go Falador. Boom! Magic level is now 74. Members can now cast Teleother Lumbridge. Ooh, I don't know what that is, but interesting. But guys, check it out. It's another quest down. The Eyes of Glue Freak. Let's remove it. Boom. Holy moly. Let's save. Save. Let's just see if we get another, if we got another quest, because I don't know. Uh, quick, quick, quick. Another slice of ham we already had. Creature of Fen Constrain. Edgar's Ruse is three. The Feud is four. Forgettable Tale is five. Scorpion Catcher is six. Shadow of the Storm is seven. Slug Menace is eight. That's it. Guys, that's it. Eight quests left. Holy smokes. I hope you've enjoyed this one. I supremely have. I love the puzzle of the, the shapes and that. Absolutely brilliant. My cup of tea. Even though we don't drink tea, we'll say it is. But there we go, guys. I really hope you've enjoyed. Don't forget to smash the like button. But until next time, you all be safe. Take care. God bless. I'll see you soon, guys. Bye-bye for now.